Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we see it. We see what the Aerosmith Jr. was saying. You know what I'm saying? Who? When we? Uh, when I get this WBA built, we're gonna see who is holding up the fight. Now, if we look at all that time. If we look at all that time before. You know what I'm saying? This fight. You know what I'm saying? Got got uh, going the negotiation and all that. Everything was full tilt on um, Terrence Crawford's side. He had been calling out EJ for like four years straight. You know what I'm saying? Ever since he was at 140. You know what I mean? So now we, we're not supposed to uh, focus on the past, right? Not fo- We're not supposed to focus on the past or how the energy was. You know what I'm saying? Leading up into, you know, when, when the fight became possible. You know what I'm saying? We're not we're not supposed to focus on that because that's petty, right? But now the fight is here, and uh, the person who was just, you know what I'm saying, rabid for the fight, the person who was just viciously pursuing the fight is now the person who seemed apprehensive. You know what I'm saying? So that's the point that's not to be missed in this situation. So... You know, and it don't help that now we got to listen to Danny Garcia. You know, he got his fight coming up. But everything, all the roads seem to, you know, lead right back to Errol Spence Jr. You know what I'm saying? He's still in a delusional state that um, he wasn't right. Now he, now he wasn't right. You know, he got this Teofimo Lopez excuses, you know, now. You know what I'm saying? He was, you know, he, he was like Rain Man in the ring. You know what I'm saying? A lawnmower man syndrome or something shit going on with his head. He cut the pandemic because of the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? His brain was reversed in his head. And he couldn't stop EJ Jab. That's why he couldn't stop his jab. EJ Jab was, you know, you know, he, he couldn't he couldn't uh, adjust to it because, you know, he wasn't right. He just, he don't know what was wrong with him. But Danny problem was you just were not the better fighter you were not the better fighter that's what it was and so you know we're looking at Terrence Crawford now you know what I'm saying I understand he want his money right so you can want your money you know what I'm saying that's fine but you know what I'm saying if the people and I'm talking about Steven Espinosa I'm talking about Showtime if they say you know what I'm saying this is all we're going to give you for the fight. You know what I'm saying? And you saying, I want more money. Well, this is the fight that you, you you know, you said that you wanted for the last four years. So you're, the, you're supposed to be the superior fighter who's been viciously, you know, and, 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 and forced, you know, trying to force this fight for the last four years. But now, now you're acting like this fight ain't going to happen. Because they're not offering you enough money, even though you know you're the superior fighter. Now, you tried to do some kind of um, reverse psychology bullshit, some elementary school childish shit by saying if Errol Spencer Jr. was confident in his abilities, he would take less money. Now, what kind of pussy punk ass shit is that? You know what I'm saying? This nigga here. You know what I'm saying? Did less work for all the goddamn generic welterweights in the division. I say generic Jeff Horn, generic. You know what I'm saying? Jose Benavidez, generic. You know what I'm saying? Aegis Kavalaska's generic. You know what I'm saying? All these guys are at the bottom of the division. You know what I'm saying? Look how look where they went on to, to do. You know what I'm saying? Virgil Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? Beat the shit out of Aegis Kavalaska's. You know what I'm saying? He got one good punch in, but that's all he's good for. A couple of good punches, right? And uh, after you get past that, you know what I'm saying? The ass whipping begin. And then you got Jose Benavidez, you know what I'm saying? Who fighting with a bullet in his leg. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He got to get a bionic leg because his real leg don't work because it's got a bullet in it, right? Now he's getting ready to fight Danny Garcia. So... You know what I'm saying? He's probably going to get knocked out in that fight. You know what I'm saying? He looked horrible in his last fight. So, you know, this is what I mean by these guys are generic. Y'all, 
you know, his fans try to make it look like, ooh, he just come Laskus is, you know what I'm saying? He's an Olympian, man. He's a he's a, a A class welterweight, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Jose Benavidez, man, he was the baddest guy at what well, man, stop. Stop the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Those welterweights suck. And you know, you can call that hating, you know what I'm saying, on a fighter when you call out the dudes and opponents he fought and dominated, you know what I'm saying? And you know from a boxing hardcore standpoint that these dudes just don't measure up as far as competition goes. It's not when you're a special fighter. And I know nobody can't hear that. That's like total logic, right? But, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell, you know what I'm saying, people who don't want to hear you nothing. So, we're looking at Terrence Crawford, you know what I'm saying, holding up the fight. You know what I'm saying? He's holding up the fight. You know what I'm saying? And he's still talking that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to turn everything towards Errol Smith Jr., who already got his part done. He got what he going to get out the fight. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, for those people who like, you know, how do you know that? You don't know nothing. Bro, stop trying to cover for Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all would, y'all would just lie. You know what I'm saying? You'll say anything, you know what I'm saying, to keep any, keep Terrence Crawford from looking like he truly is. And, and which is, what is that? You know what I'm saying? A con artist, bro. I mean, your boy is a con artist, you know what I'm saying? So, what do you expect to get from the fight when he fought the opponents that he fought at welterweight? Errol Smith Jr. beat all the champions. You know what I'm saying? Except for his dad. You know what I'm saying? He beat Kel Brook. You know what I'm saying? He beat Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these were hard fucking fights. You know what I'm saying? Kel Brook and Sean Porter in their prime as champions when they had the belt. You know what I'm saying? These was tough fights, but yet people, you know what I'm saying, they don't want to give EJ credit for clearing out the division from real champions in their prime. Who did Bud fight? He fought Jose Benavidez, Jeff Horn, and got them Aegis Kavalaskas and he fought a faded uh, Sean Porter and a faded Kel Brook. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, come on now. So, you, I mean, do he really think he deserves $30 million? I understand that the fighters take punches, but he's fought for less before. You know what I'm saying? He fought Aegis Kavalaskas and he wasn't crying about taking punches in the ring. He fought Jose Benavidez and Jeff Horn. He wasn't crying about those punches in the ring and about his life being on the line. He accepted that money, right? Everybody, because it's Errol Spence Jr. who might bust his head to the fat meat. Now, all of a sudden, he won $50 million. You know what I'm saying? Nobody got a problem with that? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have any problem with Errol, with uh, Terrence Crawford getting his money. But now, all of a sudden... It's a it's a um it's it's a chance that he could walk away from this fight. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't get fifty million dollars that he that really, you know what I'm saying, his pay per view sales, you know, says that he don't deserve. You know what I'm saying? And Steven Espinosa and these guys, these guys are business guys. They used to, hey, going by that metric of, you know what I'm saying, what did you do, what did you earn? You know what I'm saying? If your highest payday was uh, six million dollars, you know what I'm saying? We could double that, no problem. You know what I'm saying? We could even give you a little bit on the back end. But what's wrong with that? Is that short? Is that is that uh is that short selling you? Or is that overpaying you? You know what I'm saying? You didn't do shit at one forty seven. Nigga, you ain't do shit at one forty seven. You know what I'm saying? You talked a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? You kept one belt. You know what I'm saying? Errol Jr. has had fucking uh, car crashes. You know what I'm saying? He done had, damn, his, his fucking eye removed and put back in. And he got three belts. I threw all that shit he been through and you sat right over there. You know what I'm saying? Fighting two times every seven years. You know what I'm saying? You're like, like a damn Keith Thurman. And you just sat right back over there fighting those weak ass welterweights. You know what I'm saying? And, the, and now you want to come at the end when Errol Smith Jr. cleaned out the division, and, and you want to you want to um, hold the damn WBO belt hostage, and nobody really wants that fucking belt. 
because that's the Bob Aram belt. Nobody really want that belt. That belt shouldn't even be a sanctioning body. You know what I'm saying? To tell you the truth. So, you know, we got to look at this, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you didn't want this fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to believe he don't want to fight because if a person, you know what I'm saying, been waiting four years and, and, and say you ducking and saying you scared, then all of a sudden you get, get there to the door, you know what I'm saying? All you have to do is open the door, but no, you ain't going to open the door unless you get, you know what I'm saying, all the, all the demands and money that you want. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, a check, that's a contradiction in what's been going on over the last four years. You know what I'm saying? Now, nobody to hate Bud. I know y'all going to try to change this to like, oh, he hate Bud. No, it ain't no hate. It's just that y'all won't hold him accountable for the bullshit. You see what I'm saying? And that's all that is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, EJ part has already done it. He's, he already done been. You know what I'm saying? He, he took a 55 45 split what else do this nigga want you know what I'm saying you know what I mean what else do this nigga want do he want to guarantee that he don't go to the hospital after the fight do he want EJ to fight with one arm tied behind his back I mean what the fuck does, does he want do he want to make sure that EJ can't hit him to the body you know what I'm saying is that going to be in the contract oh EJ can't hit me in the body you know what I'm saying? He can't do them body shots that take people out. He can only hit me on the arms and only hit me, you know what I'm saying, on, 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 the, on the front side of my bicep. You know what I'm saying? He going to have all that shit in there? Is that what he want? No, bro. Let's have the same energy. Like when, when your boy said uh, he was a drunk. You know what I'm saying? A drunk ain't shit. He living paycheck to paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Um... What he said to uh, Stephen A, you know, Stephen A said, um, Air Spence Jr. passed the eye test. And what did Bud say? You know what I'm saying? Your eyes are lying. It's, a, it's lying to you, right? Yeah, I'm just paraphrasing for all you boxing nerds out there. You know what I'm saying? He's saying, so if his eyes wasn't lying, you know what I'm saying? That means, you know, when the fight is available and you have the opportunity to take it, then you take it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get the money. But make an agreement to the damn money and stop making all this outlandish shit. You know what I'm saying? EJ is not going to come out to the fight with one arm tied behind his back to fuck you up. Even though I still think EJ might beat his ass with one arm. You know what I'm saying? And he, he's, he may not get all over the bone, but he's going to get some of it. It's going to be enough to stop the fight. Because uh, Kel Brook puffed your shit up after two rounds. You know what I'm saying? You was in there looking like a pirate. You know what I'm saying? You looking like you were winking at some damn body. You know what I'm saying? Look like you were winking at girls, the ring girls and shit, after two rounds with Kel Brook. Now, you beat Kel Brook, but Kel Brook was, you know what I'm saying? He hadn't made, hadn't made 147 in about goddamn three years. So he came down for that money. And he got the hell on out of sport, which is look like what Terrence Crawford is doing. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to cash out. And he's trying to milk this thing for all he can. Or he's trying to go into the Hall of Fame, like he said he can. Or I could just go into the Hall of Fame. I don't need Aerosmith Jr. So he's setting it up beforehand if this fight don't don't uh, work out, which he probably figure it won't. You know what I'm saying? He gonna go off into the Hall of Fame on that weak ass resume. You know what I'm saying? So nobody cares if you do that. But just know that, you know, EJ, you know what I'm saying, he gave you the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You did what you did. And he went on up to 150 for the glory. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's pretty much all I got. This has been Pool Counter Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.